आज के क्लास में हम लोग एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर के बारे में पढ़ेंगे एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज हाउ इज द एटम कंपोज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एटम इट्स डिफरेंट पार्टिकल्स एंड द साइंटिस्ट हु डिस्कवर्ड दीज पार्टिकल्स एलोंग विथ सम टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक स्टूडेंट्स इन द बिगिनिंग वेन द पीपल स्टार्टेड द वी स्टार्टेड टू स्टडी अबाउट द मैटर इन आर सराउंडिंग देन मेनी साइंटिस्ट इनिशियली दे वी आर मोस्टली नोन एज फिलोसफर्स हु स्टडीड देम सेपरेटली एंड डिस्कवर्ड देयर प्रोपर्टीज स्टडीड देयर प्रोपर्टी इट वॉज इंडियन फिलोसफर दैट इज महर्षि कनाद हु यूज द टर्म परमाणु फॉर द स्मॉलेस्ट इंडिविजुअल पार्टिकल ए स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ एवरी मैटर सो इट वॉज महर्षि कनाद महर्षि महर्षि कनाद यूज्ड द टर्म यूज्ड और क्वाइंड द टर्म परमाणु परमाणु विच इज नाउ नोन एज एटम नाउ देर वाज अनदर साइंटिस्ट हु आफ्टर सम टाइम्स इट वाज एक्चुअली दिस वाज डिस्कवर्ड इन सिक्स्थ और वर्ड ये टर्म परमाणु वाज क्वाइंड इन सिक्स सेंचुरी बीसी सिक्स सेंचुरी बीसी लेटर ऑन इट वाज डेमोक्रिटस डेमोक्रिटस यूज्ड द टर्म यूज्ड द टर्म एटम एटम फॉर द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल for the smallest particle of matter matter now many scientists further try to describe it but it was john dalton who studied above studied the atom in detail and proposed his atomic theory it was known as dalton's atomic theory now what was what were his findings what were the conclusions made by him it was generally known as the dalt main postulates of dalton's atomic theory what are these dalton's atomic theory dalton studied the smallest particle of matter that is the atom and according to his findings he put forward some main points which are known as the main postulates of dalton's atomic theory main postulates main postulates of dalton's atomic theory although many points given by him is denied by recent researchers researches findings so you will write here the main postulates and again as a second point i will write here i will discuss here that how is it denied by recent researches or modern findings modern atomic theory the first point given by dalton was that atom is an indivisible indivisible a smallest a smallest particle of every matter every matter this was the first point but according to modern research like it says that that is what was the modern finding then discovery of electrons protons and neutron 
indicates that indicates that atom is divisible atom can be divided can be divided now students if you are asked the question is asked what are the main postulates of dalton's atomic theory then you will not need to write this point you will have to write only this first point because this point is is given only to explain the property according to points according to modern atomic theory now second atom is atom is an integral part integral part of every element element third third point atom is atom can neither be created neither be created nor destroyed means atom can neither be created from other substances nor it be destroyed but the radi in radioactivity that is discovery of discovery of radioactivity radioactivity shows that shows that atom can be created can be created or destroyed destroyed during nuclear reactions during during nuclear reactions reactions like nuclear fusion nuclear fission so discovery of radioactivity or nuclear reaction indicates that atom can be created or destroyed now next point he told that atom atoms of an element atoms of an element are similar in all respect that is now he he told that all atoms of an element are similar like suppose carbon is an element then all atoms of carbon element will be similar in every aspect all respect but the discovery of discovery of isotopes isotopes shows that shows that atoms of same element same element have different mass numbers different mass numbers so although atoms are of the same element as you know that it uh, isotope is the atoms of the same elements having same atomic number but different mass numbers jaise for example suppose we have element carbon it has two isotopes 6 c12 6 c14 so although they have the same atomic number but they have different mass numbers so it was also denied now as a fifth point atoms of different elements atoms of different elements are different in all respect all respect again this point was also denied how the discovery of isobars 
डिस्कवरी ऑफ आइसोबार्स सोज दैट सोज दैट एटम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स कैन हैव सेम मास नंबर्स मास नंबर्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स यू सी दैट आइसोबार्स आइसोबार्स आर द एटम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स विच विल हैव द डिफरेंट एटोमिक नंबर बट देयर मास नंबर विल बी द सिमिलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ सपोज वी हैव दिस कार्बन आइसोटो एंड दिस इज नाइट्रोजन आइसोटोप सो दीज आर द एटम्स ऑफ टू डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स कार्बन एंड नाइट्रोजन दे हैव देयर इंडिविजुअल दे हैव देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एटोमिक नंबर बट देयर मास नंबर इज द सेम सो ऑल दो दीज आर द एटम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स बट दे हैव वन सिमिलरिटी सो दिस पॉइंट वॉज ऑल्सो डिनाइड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एटम्स ऑफ ऑफ एटम्स ऑफ एलिमेंट कंबाइन टू फॉर्म मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एन एलिमेंट मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ऑफ द एलिमेंट ऑफ द एलिमेंट एग्जाम्पल ओ टू एन टू सी एल टू एंड सो ऑन सो दीज आर द एली एटम्स दैट इज लाइक इन दिस केस टू एटम्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन कंबाइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो दिस इज द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इन विच द सेम एटम्स हैव कंबाइन टूगेदर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट पॉस्टुलेट एटम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स एटम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट कंबाइन इन सिंपल रेशियो सिंपल एंड फिक्स रेशियो नॉट ओनली सिंपल रेशियो सिंपल फिक्स रेशियो टू फॉर्म मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ कंपाउंड molecule of compound for example if we have h2o here the hydrogen and oxygen atoms are in the ratio of 2h to 1 fixed ratio so we will always get water molecule in which the atoms of hydrogen and oxygen are combined in a definite ratio of 2h to 1 so this is the molecule of water now the last point which is the most important part that is the atoms take part in chemical reaction take part in chemical reaction chemical reactions so students these three points are still working that is are still accepted but the first uh, five points which we have discussed here are denied in modern atomic theory so these are the different postulates of dalton's atomic theory so again a student remember just we have written like this for uh, these first five points if you are asked to write the main postulates of dalton's atomic theory then you need not require to write these things you are required to write only main point clear students so this was the beginning about the study of atom how is the matter formed of and later on again more studied uh, more studied were 
conducted as uh, performed by different other scientists further it was studied that an atom consists of some charged particles that is inside the atom there are some charged particles the charged nature of its particle was studied according to the static electricity when static electricity was discovered then it was shown that when two suitable materials are rubbed together then they get charged they acquire attractive property like when a plastic comb is rubbed with rubbed against the dry hair or any suitable material then it will be able to attract the bits of paper means it acquires attractive property now then it was studied that current electricity the charge is carried by some particles moving from one atom to the another atom later on scientist were uh, scientist studied all these things like there were three main particles which are called fundamental particles of atom fundamental particles of atom fundamental particles or that is the basic particles present in an atom these particles were electron neutron sorry electron proton and neutron these are the three fundamental particles we will study their discovery in detail in uh, later topics electron is denoted by e proton by p neutron by n these particles we are discovered by electron was discovered by j j thomson j j thomson proton was discovered by e goldstein and neutron was discovered by james chadwick chadwick now my students we see that the charged particle that was first discovered was named electron by it was g j estoni electron term was used by g j estoni for the charged particles charged particles g j estoni now the term electron was used by g j estoni j j thomson studied and found that atom contains negatively charged particle and that was related to electron so we say that electron was discovered now you must remember here student that the term electron was used by jj stoney but who discovered electron it was jj thomson now students in order to study these particles in detail these particles in detail electrons proton and neutron it was james chadwick who discovered neutron j j thomson electron e goldstein proton now cathode rays
कैथोड रेड एंड डिस्कवरी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन डिस्कवरी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इट वॉज विलियम क्रूक्स हु प्रोड्यूस्ड कैथोड रे हु डिस्कवर्ड कैथोड रे एंड जे जे थॉम्सन स्टडीड द प्रोपर्टीज ऑफ कैथोड रेज एंड फाउंड दैट कैथोड रेज कंटेन्स निगेटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल दैट वॉज नेम्ड एज इलेक्ट्रॉन सो William Crookes discovered William Crookes discovered and produced cathode ray produced cathode ray JJ Thomson studied the characteristic or property of cathode rays now how is what uh, how is uh, it discovered william crookes made a discharge tube discharge tube it is a glass tube in which two electric plates that is cathode and anode terminals were placed which were connected with the battery now when very high voltage current at, at very high voltage was passed through the tube containing gas at very low pressure then it was seen that some rays were traveling from cathode towards the anode since these rays were traveling from cathode towards the anode hence they were named as cathode rays so now you see that is what was the diagram for cathode ray tube now it is the glass tube called discharge tube now here tube is connected now there was two plates here high current was play provided this is called induction coil induction coil is an apparatus or device which is used in place of transformer which is used to increase the voltage now suppose it was connected this plate was connected to the negative terminal of the battery and this was connected through positive terminal of battery so this negative was called cathode and positive was known as anode now the voltage was about 10000 volt so current was applied passed at 10000 volt with the help of induction coil actually what is induction coil just i have discussed it it works or it's it is similar to transformer which is used to increase the voltage because supply voltage is low but we need high voltage so this device increases the voltage according to our requirement now here the gas was produced a gas was present in it at 0.01 mm hg pressure gas was at this pressure and this is two vacuum pump vacuum pump now what is it what is the role of vacuum pump actually now you can remember here you can learn here that initially when the current was passed nothing was visible in this tube but when the vacuum pump was started to suck out to withdraw the gas from the discharge tube gradually the pressure decreased and when the pressure in the tube reached to this level then it was seen that some rays were traveling from cathode towards the anode 
Now, this gas, this rays we are known, known as cathode rays. So, cathode ray, yani, uh, we can say here that is when electric current, electric current was passed, was passed at 10,000 volt through discharge tube, discharge tube having gas at 0.01 mmHg pressure, pressure, then, then, then some rays were seen to be traveling from cathode to anode plate plate they were known as cathode rays they were known as cathode rays cathode rays these rays actually produced fluorescence fluorescence in soda glass uh, wall soda glass wall which was coated with fluorescent material fluorescence what does it mean it is the property due to which certain substances start to glow even in darkness when some energetic particles strike it property due to which certain substances start to glow even in darkness when some energetic particle invisible energetic particle strike it is called fluorescence and the fluorescent material will be like zinc sulfide barium platino cyanide so we can write here that is these rays, these rays produced fluorescence, fluorescence in fluorescence in fluorescent materials, fluorescence in soda glass, soda glass. Now, fluorescence and the example of fluorescent material, fluorescent material that is zinc sulfide. This is an example. Just uh, if you are, you are asked, then you must remember some examples. Zinc sulfide, barium platino cyanide, barium platino cyanide etc. Now, you have seen these materials, although you have not recognized it, like sometimes you see some stickers, stickers uh, putting on the ceilings such that in, uh, in darkness during the night they start to glow. Sometimes you find them on the uh, dial of the watches which glows in darkness. We say that it is radium, but students you must remember radium will no way be present in our surrounding in any condition because radium is a radioactive substance so it is always stored in a very highly restricted places under government guidance it will no way be available to us in open actually then how does it grow what is it so actually these are the paints which contain these materials, fluorescent materials, zinc sulfide or barium platino cyanide. So in darkness, 
some energetic particles which are present in the atmosphere when they strike these uh, these paints these compounds they start to glow this is called fluorescence and these materials are fluorescent materials so uh, students this was the discovery of cathode ray now it was j j thompson who studied the characteristic of of cathode rays and then discovered electrons so what was the characteristics of cathode rays that is characteristic characteristics of cathode rays by j j thompson j j thompson it was j j thompson who studied the characteristics of cathode rays now the main points of or characteristics of cathode rays are that is they consist of negatively charged particles they consist of negatively charged particles particles called electron called electron next when some electric field was applied electric field that is the positive and negative plates were placed near the cathode ray tube like suppose on one side on one side positive plate was kept on the another side negative plate was placed then it was observed that these particles got deflected towards positive electric plate like this they got deflected or we can say deflected away from negative plate or towards the positive plate since these were deflected towards positive plate so they were consisting of negatively charged particles so they deflect towards towards positive electric field electric field next they have kinetic energy that is they produce they produce motion in light pedal wheel pedal wheel kept in its path path hence have kinetic energy kinetic energy now like you see this time for this experiment he placed light pedal wheel light pedal wheel in the path then the cathode rays started to rotate it it started to rotate it that is it had kinetic energy it means that it will have mass now next point then it was observed that if we place any opaque substance in its path then it casts shadow behind that object that is it casts shadow of an opaque substance opaque substance hence travel in a straight line 
ट्रेवल इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन ना सो वी सी दैट द कैथोड रे सपोज फॉर दिस वन सपोज ही प्लेस्ड ओपेक सब्सटेंस लाइक दिस इन द पाथ देन शैडो वॉज फॉर्म ऑन द अपोजिट एंड हियर बिकॉज इट वॉज ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड हेंस द शैडो वॉज फॉर्म सो दिस इंडिकेट दैट कैथोड रे ट्रेवल इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी सी ए स्टूडेंट दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स produced by using different gases we are similar irrespective of the gas used and they have definite charge to mass ratio it means that the electrons are the integral part of every atom or every matter students the charge to mass ratio of the electrons from different sources is 1.76 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg it means that whatever may be the source of gas source of electron this will be similar in all cases now students after summarizing all these postulates or points characteristics we can write here properties of electrons properties of electron now first thing you can write its symbol 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 it is written as minus 1 e 0 means in symbol e for electron minus 1 is the its relative charge and this is its mass we can write these things separately now electron is the part of atoms of every atoms of every element every element now third they have the same charge to mass ratio electrons from from different sources have same charge to mass ratio next if you write its charge we can write the charge in two way one is the relative charge another is the absolute charge so the charge can be written in two part that is the relative charge relative charge of electron is taken as minus 1 we can directly write minus 1 or it is also written as esu that is electrostatic unit it is the term is used for representing the relative charge or we can write directly write minus 1 second is absolute charge which is measured absolute charge this is minus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this is a charge on electron similarly we will write another thing about its mass now electron is very light particle it has very very a small mass so in general we write that it has zero mass but here again similar to this one we can write here relative mass it is 1 upon 1837 part of mass of hydrogen atom mass of h atom generally taken as zero because this is a very a small measurement very a small value and next absolute absolute mass it is 9.108 into 
टेन टू दर माइनस थर्टी वन के जी वेरी वेरी स्मॉल इफ यू राइट इट इन ग्राम इट विल माइनस ट्वेंटी एट ग्राम सो इट इज वेरी स्मॉल पार्टिकल इट इज अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड टाइम्स लाइटर देन द मास ऑफ प्रोटोन एंड फाइनली द लास्ट वन इज दैट इज द साइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन साइज इट इज इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ या इट इज अबाउट वन इन टू टेन टू माइनस फिफ्टीन मीटर सो इट इज वेरी ए स्मॉल इन साइज वेरी ए स्मॉल पार्टिकल ना स्टूडेंट सो यू हैव क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द एटम द फर्स्ट फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल ऑफ द एटम दैट इज द इलेक्ट्रॉन इन नेक्स्ट पार्ट will study the discovery of proton neutron and some terms related to the atom now this is all about this first part hey students if you have understand understood this topic now you have uh, get benefited then you must like share and subscribe our channel as well as you must press bell icon to get, to get or receive the latest videos uploaded by us